I would like to welcome you to the world of Push TV. Are you ready for the comedy? Episode so good it feels Push like TV. an anomaly. Showtime is the star. It's Push Welcome TV, the no Push TV. Welcome to the world of Push TV. If it isn't Showtime, who would he be? Welcome to the world. Cousin, daddy, and mama do want this You don't want to miss none of the comical punches It'll make you bust the good like abdominal crunches oh. You must be watching Push TV If it wasn't Showtime, who else would he be? It begins in no time, so would we see? Tune in, take a seat, welcome to Push TV Peace, and welcome to another episode of Push TV Another Tuesday night for y'all, man As y'all already know, I'm Showtime your boy Big M. Hey, and we are here today at Universal Design Salon doing it real big, man. 1173 Belt Avenue. You know when you can come and get all your hair and neck needs taken care of. And the reason why we're here is I want to introduce y'all to my personal barber. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold on. This is my personal barber. How do you go for a new barber if you my personal barber? He can't be your personal barber. We can't have the same barber. You know how we, no, uh, no, no, no. No. Well, okay, all right, all right, all right. This, is, this is my personal barber. <laughs> okay, this is the, the, the barber of Push, the official barber of Push TV. How y'all like that? We're going to put it that way. That my man, know. Charles, why don't you introduce yourself, man? Let people know what you do up here. Uh, I'm Charles the Barber here at Universal Design Salon. You know, all of us licensed professionals up here. Yes, sir. And, you know, we do the best, and we, we create the best styles for the best prices. We got discounts, all type of, you know, specials. So come in, stop in, and... Get your hair done and fill out the whole walk out with you. Yeah. You know, and that's the one thing about it. You know, the one thing that why me and Big M always come here and show our patrons is because we know we're getting the top of the line cuts. We know we get professional quality. And like my man said, um, everybody's here likes a professional. So, you know, that's why we come in and get it in like that. And guess what? They also have specials. So, because you only don't know about the specials if you check out the website. But you see it on the screen right now. Look at the YouTube page. Look at the Twitter page. Everything is going down. It's just so much information. But right? that, yeah, but that's how it's going down, man. We really want y'all to come out. You know, show some uh, patronage. Come check out the, uh, you know, a new salon if you haven't been here. If you have been here, keep it coming, man. Stay consistent. Because I know me and Big M had an argument earlier because he here more than I am. And I'm supposed to be the one. I get the freshest cuts. <laughs> <laughs> the freshest cuts all the time. No, but that's what's up, man. We got another hot show for y'all, man. We got another Blazing Roundtable discussion. You know we're going to have some hilarious comedy skits today. And something special for y'all. A hot interview from a local artist. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. And hey, before we go, before you go, I'd I, I like to say one thing about Universal Design. This is some place you can bring your kid to. Oh, a lot of places you can go, you can't take your kid because they talk about this and talk oh, about that. Here, yeah, so, you know, this is a place you can bring your kid. You can feel comfortable bringing your kid and say, I got a little girl, so, you know. I don't want them to hear what's going on in the streets of Green Bay, you know, or what's going on at the club, or who fighting, who, you know. Right. You come here, you know, it's very comfortable. Yeah. It's very comfortable. And they also have these delicious mints. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, man, it's a fantastic atmosphere. Come out, you know, top of the line cut, top of the line hairstyles, and, you know, stay tuned for more from Push TV and Universal Design Salon. Peace. Peace. Leroy Jenkins and I would like huh hello there America my name is Leroy Jenkins huh what oh I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry hello there America my name is Leroy Jenkins and I would like to be your next president
The reason why I feel as though I should be your next president is because I'm really smart. You can tell by all those fake books behind me that said so. Yep. And I would also like to be your next president because I didn't want to say this on national television, but I did see my opponent actually smoking crack. Yes, real crack. Not fake crack, real crack. And presidents just don't do that. I also would like to be your president because it's come to my attention your presidents get to do some really cool sh like have their own jet and have an office actually shaped like an oval. How many people you know that got an office shaped like an oval? You can't count them, can you? Me neither. That's because I don't want to be the president. Only the president get that. I want to be the president. I also want to be the president. If y'all allow me to be the president, then I will make it illegal for player haters to hate on players. That is a good thing that I will do for our country, and I think our country needs more of it. So therefore, I believe that you should vote the only right vote, the only good vote, and the only vote that will get you a brand new spanking president. Elroy Jenkins for president, 2012. Wait a minute, is that my, that's, that ain't my good side. Hold on, y'all see the film? Okay, 20, 2012. I'm Elroy Jenkins, and I approve this damn message. I, I, I really wanted to know how I felt. Okay. I'm Elroy Jenkins, and I approve this message. This is my man, Philly Fallback. You've seen him on Push TV. You've seen him at Tappers and Francis Creek. You've seen him at the hideout doing his own Look Who's Talking Showcase, man. What more can I say? I want to introduce y'all to the man himself, Philly Fallback. What's up, man? Ain't nothing. I'm just out here. You know what I'm saying? Try to make something happen, grinding for my family. That's about it. Man, I'm 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 honored to be a part of the show you had going on tonight, man. It was a real big thing going on here at the Look Who's Talking to Showcase. If y'all don't know, make sure y'all follow my man at Philly Fallback on Twitter, man. Tweet, hey, tweet. hey, tell him about the Reverb Nation page you got killing everybody out there right now, man. I mean, I got a Reverb Nation page. You know, I upload songs here and there. It's, it's, it's something, it's another avenue to get us out there, you know what I'm saying? To make sure that us artists trying to do something with our lives, we can get recognized, recognition from the crafts that we do, you know what I'm saying? But right. I think a lot of individuals need to take it a little bit more seriously. I do this, I tell stories to what I say because it's my life. Right. It ain't nothing that I'm making up, make believe. You might get some exaggerated, but most of it, that's all me. Hey, but listen to the lyrics, though, man. One of the things they had on point tonight, they had his vocals set just right so you can hear all the lyrics. You can hear all the punchlines. You can hear everything he was saying, man. And it was real deep. You know, you can see the crowd getting into it. Every time he made a, a super huge point, the crowd was geek. And that's what I love to see, man. Hey, you shared with us last time you was on Push TV, you know, just the seriousness and just the the, the, um, the amount of respect you gained from being more than just a rapper. You are an entertainer, man. Why don't you share more with us about that, man? I mean, really what it is is, you know, I, I, I put a lot of effort into what I do. So it ain't nothing that I just play around with. So when I get on that stage, I'm a whole different person because I got to entertain the people that's coming to see me. I'm not just up there with the microphone standing in one spot, rapping, saying words on the mic. People don't want to see that. You got to interact with the crowd. Like tonight, that's the my, my, like. my, my that's throat, like. my throat, I, I couldn't even speak. I lost my voice. Because you were so words. into it. You were so into but it, I though. Let the crowd know I'm losing my voice, but I'm still going to keep going. Right. As you can hear right now. But this is your life. You got to make it your life, homie. You got to get up there and you got to do what you got to do. You can't be up there and be stuck in one spot. You got to get into your music. Right. How I'm going to feel you if you ain't feeling yourself? I Man. feel myself. You ain't got to tell me I'm cold. I do what I do. I already know. And from what I got... That's what your energy you going to do. I feel you. I feel you, man. I really just, you know, I really want to thank you, man, for taking the time out once again to be here on Push TV. TV. All day. You know, we always going to support what you do, man. We support your music. We believe in your music, man. I remember when you first let us, you know, get the preview of the mixtape. You know, you gave us a rough copy, and we still riding on the bandwagon, man. So I want to say what's up. Make sure y'all stay on the lookout for Push TV, Great Bread ENT. Philly Fallback and your man Showtime, we doing something big. It ain't just this music, go beyond that. That's we right. doing independent film, we doing everything. So keep a lookout for Concrete, because we is Concrete. Man. Solid as it get. We might break us, but we can form back. You see what I'm saying? Ain't about the man that falls, it's about how the man get back up. Get back and up. I'm always get back up. I ain't afraid of failure. Failure afraid of me, because he know it ain't going to keep me down. You dig Philly Fallback, Break Bread, ENT, holler. Man, that's deep, man. That's Push TV. Peace. Can you see me? Get your vibes in. Oh. Man, 
and I'm done messing with girls, y'all. Why? Rihanna's ignoring every single one of my calls. Serena ain't even trying to reply to a text. Plus this woman that I mess with unprotected. Text is saying she wish she would've kept it. Zeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Every thought of being with you was probably worse than a bad dream You used to be cute, at least some of the what Now every time I see you in my mouth, I taste no what Say, baby girl, you must forgot So you dealing with a soldier And when I say it's over, it's over And when you alone in this world, it's so it seems cold But now I gotta give you the shoulder And in between me and you, that shit laid the rest No more pain and stress, I gotta get this shit off my chest Smoke two months back to back, and it's still this good I didn't know that being without you would feel this good I don't hate you, little mama, this is it Every time I see you, middle finger up and call you a bitch Your mind frame is intact Cause I'ma keep it pushing, keep it moving like trains on the track I hope your mind frame is intact Cause I'ma keep it pushing, keep it moving like trains on the track Cause what we've been through, I don't wanna hear about you Cause you're just so news, I do me, and you do you I know I'm way too much for you Can't believe it's over, can't believe it's through But now my life is so much better without you And now my life is better Push TV. Welcome to another roundtable discussion. You know, it's your boy Provoc, EC Affiliate. You know what I'm saying? I got my man Earl in the house today. He's going to be joining us for today's topic. Today's topic is basically, you know, people going in and out of jail and, you know what I'm saying, how can we get our youth to understand that that's not a cool thing to do? We know a bunch of people ourselves personally that, you know, like going in and out of jail, you know what I'm saying, getting out, talking about how they just have to serve a beer real quick, like that's something cool to talk about. So basically, that's our roundtable. The discussion today is, Individuals going in and out of jail, and you know what I'm saying. Basically, we need to set a better example for you. So, Earl, what you think about that, man? Well, first off, I like to start by saying hello to everybody out there. Push TV like a thing. Pro vlog for having me on. It's a, it's no a, doubt, it's a blessing to be here. Um, shout out to everybody who part of this, help put this together. Big up to y'all. Um, first and foremost, you know, concerning this situation with our youth, speaking for our culture and. Our blacks is that they glorifying going to jail. They putting that on the up there with 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 
with uh with with with, 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 with graduating, graduating yeah, from college, college or something like that. You end up there with, with that and so <clears> now <throat> the young brothers and young sisters looking to get into jail quicker so they can get a name. Uh, uh, and, and right now it's like a, what you call a rites of passage. So once they get to jail, right. or now they got their speed created up, and that's really hurting us right now. Oh yeah, no, no doubt, most definitely. I mean, and I think that's a bad thing for the youth to see, especially with, you know what I'm saying, we supposed to be role models for the youth or whatever, and then we going in and out of jail now. I work with youth myself, so I understand that when I'm talking to the kids, they talking to me like, man, I'd rather just serve the rest of my time in jail instead of being at a treatment facility. And I'm like, what? I mean, what kind of response is that? So, I mean, we're teaching our youth the wrong thing, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it's, it's, it's crazy out there, man, because a lot of people, we know a lot of people that's locked up right now. I mean, and, and no, I'm not anybody hustle. I mean, everybody got their own hustle and do what they do, but at the same time, like, man, I don't think it's a good thing to be glorifying that people going in and out of jail, especially if a person, I know people are welcome to see the people back, like, happy to have them back at the home, but I don't think they should have a bigger party or a bigger, you know what I'm saying, a celebration than somebody that just graduated from college or, an accomplishment like going to uh, graduate from high school or getting a master's degree or something like that. So, I mean, I think we really got things backwards as far as that. So, I mean, well, there, there's, 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 there ain't no glory in going to jail. Ain't, there's no glory in going to jail. I mean, you folks go to jail and yeah, they accomplish things such as getting the GEDs or picking up a trade or something like that. Yeah, but the weird thing is, we could tell the kids, like, you could do that on out. Yeah, you could do that on <laughs> You don't need to be locked up. You know, and, uh, and just like, you know, Pro, while he worked with kids, I'm part of a ministry. You know, we have a church and we work with adults and uh, they act like little kids, you know. Uh, so these guys were in and out of jail and no matter how many times we bring a word to them or give words of encouragement, they end up falling back into that same routine. Right. So it's, it's, it's our job to, to uh, Speaking for the ministers and the brothers who, who got it, they had on straight is to 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 come to these brothers and, and, and old and young, right. and to to be a positive and be an inspiration to them, motivate them, uh, encourage them, and that's that's one thing that a lot of brothers right now are not doing. Encourage them. If they are encouraging, they're encouraging the wrong way. Right. You know, they encourage them to uh, skip out, uh, lag, do under, undercut one another. There's not really no being on one accord with, with, with being positive, and that's what we have to do. Like me personally, I don't want to go to jail because I'm, I'm to be honest with you, I ain't, I ain't trying to spend no time in a holding cell, period. I'm scared of the consequences of going to jail, so I don't do certain things in life so I can avoid that kind of situation. Too bad life. Another thing too, I think a lot of people think, you know what I'm saying, it makes you more of a man to go to jail or something like that. It, like, it really like you need that to be a man. Like you could do other things in life, you know what I'm saying, to be a man and be a strong man and be, you know what I'm saying, a positive right. person without going to jail. I mean, like you said, sometimes for some people solidify the fact that they are, they're an adult now, like a rite of passage now because mm -hmm. they didn't want to jail and they didn't serve some time, so they got that stamp on it. Right. To me personally, I'd be glad to tell you right now, my record is clean, <laughs> crispy. And then nothing wrong with that. Hey, I'm, I'm, wrong with that. Hey, wrong. Hey, I'm telling you, you call me square, lame, all you want. I'm not going to jail. No, no, nothing, you see it, me it, on the outs, baby. There's it, it, nothing wrong with having a clean record. It's not folks might look at that like, nah. Uh, yeah, they, they, but you know, they might consider people like us lions because we ain't never been in jail and we scared to go to jail. There's people out there, you know what who, saying? There's people out there who worse than the guys in jail. They just never right. got caught. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. <laughs> they just never got caught. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Hey, that's all they Like I said, I don't knock nobody hustle. If you out there doing the wrong thing, like I said, I'm not knocking your hustle. However, if you get caught, you got to man up and serve the time, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, we sending out the wrong message to our youth that it's all right to serve time. Like I said, I'm working with kids now. And it's sad to hear them say that they'd rather serve the rest of their time in jail than being in a treatment facility and getting help mm -hmm. so they don't make the same decisions over and over again. Yeah. And it's a bad thing, man. So I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, I'm welcoming you to the show. And I'm glad that you came. Yeah. You know what I'm uh, saying? It's always peace talking to you, my brother. Yeah, that, you know it's, it's truly, it's truly a blessing because I don't know, we probably got to get out of here, but I, I just want to uh, say that we'll be doing jail ministry here in Eau Claire County uh, starting this Sunday. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because. Uh, I get to see a couple guys that I haven't seen in a while, and they will be shocked to see me. They will be like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I come from where they come from, and now I did a complete 180. You see what I'm saying? And so I'm not the same man that they used to seeing or they, you know, years and years ago. Things has changed right. with me and myself. So I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, at first, I was a little nervous, you know, just because I didn't want to deal with them folks. But, you know, step up to the plate, man. Business, man. 
It's about stepping up and being no a man doubt. stepping up. No know? doubt. The Bible talked about picking up your cross, man. I pick up my cross and you can wear it. So, uh, no doubt. Talk. So, y'all better look, y'all will see me again. No me. doubt, my man gonna be in the building. Like I said, EC affiliate, it's your boy Provide. You know what I'm saying? That's the round table discussion for the day. The subject basically is jail is not cool and it's not a rite of passage. You do not need to go to jail to be a man. There's other ways to be a man. Me and Earl been grown since we was young, you know what I'm saying? I happened to grow up in a certain kind of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? We grew up fast, but we did it the right way and we did it the positive way. We both graduated from the university here and I've been knowing my man for over 10 years. So keep it positive and make sure you look out for the next episode. Keep your ears open. Push TV. Holla. My name is Elroy Jenkins. And I want to be the next president of the United States of these Americas. I know that a lot of people think they can run for president just because Barack Obama has become the president. But I know I have what it takes to lead this country to a whole new world of success. Trust me. I believe a little white girl should be able to run up Sandy Hills whenever they want to. And guys that look like professional wrestler John Cena should be able to play in the sand all day. And white people should be able to blow up parachutes and jump off cliffs anytime they want to. I also believe that if we continue to show y'all these beautiful scenes that y'all will forget that there's homelessness and also terrible ghettos in America. That's what my hope is. I think the white cameramen should be able to harm themselves filming my videos. Can someone please show more grass and landscapes, please? Beautiful. Look at that dog just running. That's the America that I believe in. Can someone show a train, please? A train, I said. That's a boat. I think people should be able to have junky yards and live on the water and don't rake their grass. And trains! I think we should start using trains more. Forget about cars. That's the America I believe in with dirty red benches sitting by trees and oceans. Did I mention oceans and, and, and dusty, dusty deserts and oceans and grass? and water and America and grass go together. I believe in this America and you should too. I'm Elroy Jenkins and I want to be your next president. Hey, all those pictures of grass and white people running around and stuff made me feel like I want to smoke. Wait a minute, is this still recording? Oh, who's that old guy? I hope he's not going to my house. I'm Elroy Jenkins, and I approve this damn message. Well, I, I mean, I really wanted to know I felt okay. I'm Elroy Jenkins, and I approve this message. Thank you.